local news about local people. This is Newslink Indiana. Good evening, I'm Chris Bavender. Thanks for joining us. The Marion Fire Department says two fires next door to each other Monday afternoon are not related, but one homeowner isn't so sure. Newslink Indiana's Lauren Koenig reports. As one fire was put out and the Marion Fire Department rolled up their hoses, a house nearly six feet away was engulfed in smoke. But Marion Fire Chief Steve Grell says the fires, one of which was intentionally set by the fire department, are not related. The fire marshal investigator says that this house, 904, is not, did not catch on fire as a result from the 902. But that doesn't make a lot of sense to Andy Swagart and his family, who are now homeless. He believes a sub pump put in his basement by firefighters to help prevent flooding from the fire next door caused the fire. I think they forgot that sub pump and that they put in my basement. I think they forgot it running and didn't take and, and it burnt. That's what I think happened. Swagart also thinks arson is out of the question. There's no way anybody set my house on fire. There's I don't believe it. No one had anything to gain out of it. Nobody. Tim Murray of the State Fire Marshal's office says the fire started in the basement and traveled through the walls into the attic. We're, we just lost. We've lost everything we own. There's stuff in there that can't be replaced. In Marion, Lauren Koenig, Newslink, Indiana. The cause of the fire remains under investigation. The case has been turned over to the state. Expect to see a lot of blue and white on the Ball State campus in a few weeks. The Indianapolis Colts plan to hold their first mini camp of the season at the University Stadium. It's really to build an interest in, in Colt football, Ball State football, and it's a good way for us to, break, to begin our selling process for next fall when we need to get 15,000 people at the Ball State game. Practice will start at 5 April 30th. Players will be available afterwards for autographs. Admission is $5 for adults. Children under 12 get in free. For ticket information, you can call 1-888-BSU-TICKETS. And now here's Ryan Miller with a look at tomorrow's forecast. Ryan. Thanks a lot, Chris. Newslink Indiana Precision Cast doing a great job of picking up all that rain we saw today. Unfortunately, it hasn't sticking with us throughout the overnight hours. It does look like it's going to clear out for tomorrow, though. An area of high pressure will move in, and that's going to give us some pretty nice temperatures tomorrow. In fact, expect to see 56 in Muncie, 57 in Newcastle, and 57 in Anderson. Some rain in the morning, clearing out later on. Chris. Thanks, Ryan. That is Newslink Indiana. Join us at 627 tomorrow morning for more news and get local news about local people 24 hours a day at newslinkindiana.com.